Yes. And I, to me, that speaks volumes of we're being more accepted now. We're still earning less. We're still earning only 89%. And, I, and that's why I am all for female entrepreneurs. If you are an independent contractor in real estate or uh, financial consulting or coaching, you can make as much or more that it's, it's all up to you. How much you want to make? Well, it is up to you. And unfortunately, like I said, so many people are told when they go to, when they first go into any business training or things like I did, I, I went to so many workshops, so many right. business trainings, right. so many days of, and I would come out with the big, thick three inch notebook. And I have stacks of those yes, in my as do office. I. And once I got home, I never opened them again because it became too overwhelmed by right. them. Right. Or I always would pick out a couple of things to implement that resonated with me. But out of a hundred things, two maybe would have resonated with me. You almost have to find your own path being a woman, I'm, I'm saying. So that's why I admire what you're doing so much because you're not taking away our femininity. You're bringing it there. You're making us confident to go do whatever we want to do. Well, here's an example also of like, you know, men are like very logical. They think with their brain and for years women have been told the emotional thing it does not belong in the business right. world. But when you think about it, the men, that's what their focus is. They're very single focused. Women are multiple focused. They have, and they're, they're nurturers, and there's all these things. But the women have something very special. They have a very intense sensitive sensitivity to their senses and their emotional network. When the brain has a question, and the brain is only about the size of your fist, when your brain has a question about whether something is right or not, it does not make the decision on its own. Right. It sends pulses out through your whole body going, what should I do? And women have been told to ignore that part of it, that shut that down and just make decisions. The intuition and the gut feelings. Absolutely. Right. I mean, how many times have you gone into or met somebody or been in a situation where something didn't feel right and you shut it down. Right. And then it wasn't pretty afterwards. Mm -hmm. That's because the mind doesn't know what to do. And when you don't give it feedback, you don't let what's natural for you take place. Then what happens is the mind makes a decision based on something that occurred in the past, which may or may not have been a good decision. So I look at it this way. Do you want just this little hand fist thing making your decisions <laughs> or this whole body that's been there, that's been provided for you to make amazing decisions with? And I pick body. I pick body too. <laughs> so that's just another way that I help women understand there's so many things that we have and how to stay in tune with that, how to understand when you're getting negative vibes that, Mm -hmm. Maybe those are from things out of the past that aren't even true. Most of our, in, I call them imprints, negative Memes, ideas. Red, yeah. whatever, yeah. Those 98% of them are false. They've been proven to be wrong. Mm -hmm. So we work through all of that. And But what I love is, is I hear so many, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, so many aha moments that they have. Oh, that and, is nice. And, and the things is the aha moments is when the actual change takes place. It's not studying, studying, studying. It's the aha moments. Some people take a little bit longer to get to those, but I've had people in our first conversation have multiple aha moments. Nice. Very good. I, I'm sure that you're so good at what you do. And we're going to hear from a couple of our sponsors, and then we're going to be back. We're going to hear f more from Nancy Dubay and hear how you can get in touch with her. And we're going to have Juliana Tacy talk to us a little bit and then tell you about all the exciting things that are coming up this week. Please stay with us. We'll be back in just a couple minutes. Fun, friends, and a good time just starts to describe the enjoyment of the Sunrise Pedal Trolley. We offer a new and unique way to travel around Bay City and experience our area's culture, history, specialty, and antique shops. And of course, our local pubs. 
The Sunrise Pedal Trolley is a 15-person, people-powered bike. Whether you're out on a wine walk, trying the newest micro beer, or just out to have some fun, we offer an experience like no other. Our riders pick the stops before we begin, making each tour different. To book a tour, visit sunrisepedaltrolley.com. This is the New Hope Bay Minute. We're speaking with John Zarnecki, Director of Operations. John, you've used the words wow and amazing to describe New Hope Bay. Is there any other word you might use? The only other word that comes to mind is value. Value is basically getting more than you paid for. How do we at New Hope Bay define value? First and foremost, it's space. Our apartments begin at 600 square feet and go up from there. Secondly, we have no games in our pricing. All-inclusive means all-inclusive. There's not even an entry fee. So you know exactly what you're getting and exactly what you're paying for from the day you become a resident. And the third thing, when you talk about quality of care and folks out there telling about how great their care is, our management team has the experience, passion, and drive to serve others and have a combined 70 years of experience in this industry. That's how we at New Hope Bay define value. We'd love to have you come check out our model, make an appointment so we can tell you more about what New Hope Bay can do for you. You've been listening to the New Hope Bay Minute. For more information or to schedule a tour of our model, go to newhopebay.org. Are your muscles tense, achy, or just worn out? Let Juliana Tacey Massage Therapy soothe your pain away. She's licensed, insured, and board certified. She will even come to your location. She can be reached at 989-684-8255. Hey, Juliana, um, that was just your ad, right, that was on just now. So we thought that uh, you could be in the sponsor spotlight briefly today because we have so much to talk about. And Nancy's content is really good. Are you learning anything? Yes, I am. Very much so. Good. So, um... You're a licensed massage therapist. Some things have changed in your life, and you're more available to do things at other people's homes. Yes, it should be a lot of fun. Good. And so how do we get a hold of you? My phone number is 989-684-8255. Can you say it again a little closer to the mic there? 989-684-8255. Great. And how long have you been a massage therapist? Since 2002. And what do you like best about it? make people feel better very good and have you had a recent success story oh mostly about muscles I had a woman who was having problems with her knee and she went in to see the doctor and the doctor we were talking that the doctor was probably going to give her synvis because it's one of those things from the rooster comb into her knee an injection and he refused to do that he said no your knee doesn't need that And she was very upset, and she left his office, and she was coming to see me. And I said, you know, I really really think that we could do some stuff muscularly for your legs, for your knees. And she goes, well, okay, I'll give it a shot. So we worked on her legs for one hour, half an hour on each leg, and her thighs were very tight, and her calves were very tight. So her leg was actually Mm, pulling her knee apart. In both ways, right. Yes. Yes. So um, after we got the muscles in her thigh moving and the muscles in her calf moving, then I said, now we got to keep them going. And we started stretching, and she's um, doing stretching in the morning and stretching in the evening Great. and pulling her toes back and doing a lot of stretching. And now she can walk without pain. How do you like that? Yeah. See, without medicine. Without medicine. Love it. I love it. How do we get a hold of you again? The phone number is 989-684-8255. I have hours that are 9 to 5, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I'll be going to school at Delta Tuesdays and Thursdays. Excellent to keep going with, with what you're doing. Thank, Thank you. you. We we all admire how you've pursued your professionalism. Thank you, dear. I've been listening. It's quite interesting how to value myself and how to make how to let other people realize that they should value me too is the way I choose to value myself. So I have to put it out there. So let's talk about that some more, Nancy. This is our guest, Nancy Dubay. Hello. (laughs) Well, value, as we've talked about, is you hold the key to it, not your clients, not your boss, not anybody you work with. So you hold the key for that. Yeah, and how how I put myself out towards the client, how I'm worthy of this. You have to be able to tell them in a specific way 
and show them what it is that you're going to do for them. You have to create value for them, for them to be interested. And that's one of the most difficult things that people have to do is communicate what their value is in an effective way. And also know who your preferred client is because every client doesn't mean that that's a good fit. I don't work with everybody who wants to work with me. And that is because I want to make sure they're going to be a success. And if I just take anybody because I think the money is great and all that, I'm cheating them and myself because I'm not accomplishing what my goals are, which is to increase the value of women in the marketplace because they're going to be failing because they're not going to be working with me in a way that's going to be successful for them. So that is how you have to be able to know who your client is, be able to sit down, figure out what it is. Ironically, a lot of times your clients, your core clients, are very much in alignment with who you are personally. What you like, what you don't like, Mm. what you, things that, those are the best people to start with because you will connect with them immediately. But I can connect with just about anybody and that's something else I teach people how to do using your history your history has so much wealth back there that we don't utilize we check it off we put it in a drawer we forget about it and there is so many things I have connected with people um, on amazing things that I never even thought would be possible and got clients because of that because of that connection Um, I had it uh, for instance, uh, my, I adopted my daughter, and we did connect with people on adoption. I've had exchange students connected with people on that. So it's just you never know. Mm-hmm. And everything that's in your past can be worth thousands of dollars to you. Yeah. It wow, I could like be a millionaire. Yeah. I, have a, I have an intense past. Well, <laughs> exactly. It is. Exactly. <laughs> and, and there's so many circles within circles, you know, that you're, you're going to do something and you see a friend and, and mm-hmm. that friend knows somebody else and they're in their own little circle and now you're in their own little circle. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it, it kind of grows. And, and that, what you just said sums up exactly how women should be working together. Absolutely. It's a community. It's a networking it's a community. Commu- right. It's yeah. a community of women. And it's not sometimes when you're out there, it's not just that um, I've had people that didn't need my service but knew someone who did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you never know who's going to refer you. I have gotten amazing referrals from people. out of, Just out of the blue, things came up. And the other thing sometimes you do is you have to challenge yourself. I've had people request things from me that sometimes I thought, I'm a writer also, a professional writer, but I'd always written media programs. But I had a client who called me and said, can you write a medical journal article? And I'm like, well, I've written articles before, but not for medical journals, which are very different from the right. norm. There's a lot of stats and research and stuff. MLAs. So I said, let me look into it. I didn't say no. I looked into it, looked at what it was. And being the researcher and that you are. being the researcher <laughs> I did, and sure enough, I ended up with two of them. And nice. So we're just waiting for one to be published right now. Isn't that nice? And you just never know. You have to expand yourself and believe you can do more than what you can believe. But I, you know, we also do a risk analysis, risk reward analysis. You know, you don't. I knew this client well enough that I could look into it, and if it wasn't going to work, I could come back and say, "This is not really. I'm not going to be able to give you the quality of work that I wanted to be able to give you." So I. I'm going to pass on this, but I'm not going to charge you for anything I've written or anything like that. So there are sometimes on something new, you have to do an analysis and you also have to be willing to stretch yourself and know that uh, sometimes you have to course correct. It's not, mm-hmm. it's not a pass fail kind of thing. It's a course correction. Right. And exactly. And then you don't know where that course is going to take you. You, you have to leave yourself open to new experiences and you know when we were talking about gut feelings one of the things you have to learn to do and it takes a lot of practice is learn if it's fear of the unknown or if it's your intuition telling you not even to go there and that's a tough discernment isn't it well that is why when we have the discovery process 
you don't fall into that too much because you know exactly where to go ah. to find what it is you need to 